Mrs. Momita Datta from Chakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Welcome you all to online teaching 2020-2021. Today we are going to study about human body and organ system. Now different organs in our body in a group are working in a group to smoothly carry out life processes. Now the group of organs working together to perform a specific function is called the organ system and the energy is necessary to operate all life processes in the human body and the energy production occurs within the cells. The supply of nutrients and oxygen takes place with the help of respiratory and circulatory system. Now coming to the external respiration. Now external respiration has two categories that is inspiration and expiration. Now in inspiration, air is taken in through the nose and sent towards the lungs through the trachea. And in expiration, the oxygen from the inspired air goes into the blood and the blood carries carbon dioxide from various parts of the body towards the lungs and the air is given out by exhalation. Now coming to internal respiration, the exchange of gases between the cells and the tissue fluid is called as internal respiration. Then cellular respiration, the dissolved nutrients like glucose are slowly burnt with the help of oxygen and energy is released in the form of ATP. ATP is adenosine triphosphate and the waste materials like carbon dioxide and water vapors are produced during the process. Now coming to respiratory system. Now respiratory system and respiration begins with the nose and the air is filtered with the help of hair and mucus present in the nose. Next coming to pharynx. Now beginning of the fat, trachea and esophagus the pharynx is present and due to the epiglottis the food particles do not enter the trachea and the windpipe is present in form in front of the food pipe and there is a lead at the beginning of the windpipe and generally this lead closes the windpipe during the passing of the food into the food pipe and thereby normally prevents the entry of the food particles into the windpipe and the windpipe remains open and the air is generally pushed through the pharyngeal region. Next coming to trachea, at the upper end there is a larynx, the trachea bifurcates into right and left branch called bronchi to transport the inhaled and exhaled air to and from the lungs. And Next coming to the lungs now present on either sides of the heart in the thoracic cavity and each lung has a double layered covering and it is called the pleura and the bronchi divide and subdivide into many bronchioles and at the end of each bronchiole there is an alveolus which provides place for the gaseous exchange. Now next coming to alveoli, the rich network of the capillaries surround every alveolus and their walls are extremely thin and the gaseous exchange takes place in the alveoli. Now next coming is the diaphragm, the muscular partition dividing the thoracic region and the abdominal cavity is called the diaphragm and the movement of the air in and out of the body caused due to the upward and downward movements of the diaphragm. 
Next, coming to the exchange of gases in the lungs. Gaseous exchange occurs while blood is circulating around the alveoli. Hemoglobin is present in the RBC of the blood and the oxygen is taken into the blood and carbon dioxide and water vapors are removed from the blood and given out by exhalation. Last coming to diaphragm. Now the muscular partition is present at the base of the thoracic cage and this partition is called as the diaphragm and it is present between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity and the continuous upward and downward movement of the diaphragm is necessary to bring about breathing and you can see the picture of diaphragm that is the respiratory system which is having all the parts the nasal cavity the pharynx larynx bronchioles trachea lungs alveoli and the diaphragm thank you